everyone. Welcome to Book Streams for Tweens with the Fulton County Library System. Today we'll be discussing Dog Diaries Susan by Kate Klimo. So stick around. <music> My name is Miss Adrian, and I am the Youth Services Librarian at the Adams Park Branch in Southwest Atlanta. I, today, I'm going to be sharing with you my new favorite book, Dog Diaries Susan by Kate Klimo and um, Tim Jessel. This is the 12th book in the Dog Diaries series. And um, this series um, deals with, um, it has um, different dog breeds and um, different dogs um, that um, are a part of um, historical events. Um, tomorrow, I will share with you more about that series when we talk about the author. Um, let me tell you a little bit about um, Dog Diaries Susan. Um, Dog Diaries Susan. Um, Susan is a is a corgi dog, and she was the dog of Princess Elizabeth, as she was called before she became the queen. Um, she got Susan when she was 18 years old, and um, in the series, the dogs um, the dog is the narrator, so. Um, Susan is the narrator in the story, and the story begins um, before Princess Elizabeth got um, Susan, how Susan came to be, and then um, when she got Susan, when she was 18 years old, Susan um, describes um, life living with um, Queen Elizabeth, um, she, or um, Princess Queen Elizabeth. Um, you know, it starts when, um, you know, about the time that um, Princess Elizabeth um, is dating Prince Philip when they got married, talks about that. Um, Susan was on their honeymoon. Um, and then when Prince Charles was born, then when um, Prince George the Sixth, uh, King George the Sixth, um, Queen Elizabeth, um, Princess Elizabeth's father, when he passes away and Queen Elizabeth becomes queen, it talks about it, you know, talks about that and about what it was like to live in um, Buckingham Palace and the and the different adventures and um, that um, Princess Queen Elizabeth um, and her family went on. It's it is. It's a really, if you like history, you will like this book. It's, it's, it's really neat. And there's um, some, um, some great illustrations in the book, um, black and white um, drawings. And then there's also real, um, there's also real life photos um, in the back of the book. Let me show you um, some of the, um, let me show you um, a couple of the pictures. And I'm gonna actually show them to you from the print book because it's easier for me to show you that way. This is a picture um, of um, Princess Elizabeth and Princess Margaret with um, Susan. Okay, and then in the back of the book, here's a picture of Queen Elizabeth and her corgis. Okay, and one neat thing about this book is in the back, they have all these pictures and they have um, some websites and articles that you can read that where you can learn more about um, um, Queen Elizabeth's um, da, uh, you know, corgis, Susan, and um, the pup, um, and um, Susan's pups. Okay, um, I'm gonna go ahead and I will read to you um, a part of the book and see how you like it. And I'm gonna start reading the, um, in um, with chapter one, okay? Chapter one, before my time. And here is a picture. This is a picture of Princess Elizabeth and her dog, Dookie. 
in the kennel where I was born. The story has been passed down from mom to pup for generations. And even though it took place before I was born, I have heard it told so many times that it is written upon my heart. Once upon a time, there was a little girl named Thelma. She was nine years old when her dog was accidentally run over by a motor car. Mind you, this is no ordinary accident. The motor car happened to be driven by the Duke of York, the man who would one day be King of England. But our Thelma didn't care a fig about that. All she knew was that she had lost her beloved friend, the light of her life, and her heart was broken. The Duke, as you can imagine, felt terrible. With deepest sympathies, he wrote to Thelma's parents and offered to purchase a new dog for the family. Her parents felt Thelma was too grief-stricken to accept another dog. Ever so politely, they turned down the Duke's generous offer and let Thelma know that they had done so. After a few months, when Thelma's heart had mended, she wrote the Duke a letter. She'd take that new dog now. Thank you very much, she told him. But the Duke, not wanting to go against the parents' original wishes, declined to make good on his offer. There would be no new dog for Thelma at this time, but she soldiered on and eventually grew up to be one of the most famous dog breeders in all of England. At the kennel she founded, known as Roosevelt, she raised many a prize winner. Among them were Alations, Scotties, Airedales, Chow Chows, and Chihuahuas. But her very favorite breed was the Corgi. And while she didn't, strictly speaking, discover corgis, her work did go a long way towards making us famous and getting us officially recognized by the Kennel Club. Thelma encountered her first corgi as a young gal on holiday in Wales. From the window of a roadster, she saw one dashing across the field on his short, um, but sturdy legs, expertly herding cattle by nipping at their heels. Welsh farmers had been breeding corgis to herd for hundreds of years. Um, doesn't this sound like a great book? And you got an idea of how um, corgis and uh, eventually Susan became a part of the royals' lives, specifically Princess um, Queen Elizabeth. And I am sure you are all interested now in learning more about um, Susan and her eventual pups and, how, um, and about what it was like to be um, Princess Queen Elizabeth's dog and the and what it was like to live in um the in buckingham palace dog diaries susan is available um in an ebook with with e reads kids come back tomorrow where i'm go i will discuss um the author kate Klimo. And I will share with you um, her exciting life and um, the Dog Diary series and some of the other books um, that she has written. Um, don't forget to submit your fan art. Um, um, maybe you might wanna make um, a creative picture or piece of artwork um, about Susan or one of her pups. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Um, information is below. And we will see you tomorrow where we will learn more about Kate, Cl the author Kate Klimo and Dog Diaries Susan. 
Bye.